Hey, what's going on guys? Tim Parts here, back with another video. In this video, I'm going to be doing a collaboration with Ali. Some of you guys may know him, some of you guys may not. So basically, this is what his channel looks like. He does tutorials just like me. He's a really sick, underrated YouTuber. I think he should have like 100k at the moment. His link will be down below. Go and check him out. Subscribe to him. Watch some of his videos. Uh, comment to him. Say how he's doing. And yeah, in this video, Ali's going to be showing you guys how to make a clean gaming banner. So yeah, let's get straight into this. Guys, I welcome this video. So, guys, today's video, I'll be showing you how to make a gaming banner using Photoshop. And before we start, if we could hit 50 likes, that would be amazing. And if this video hits 80 likes, I'll be leaving a link to the banner as a template. And yeah, guys, let's get started. So, first thing, open up Photoshop, and then go to File, and then New. And then name it whatever you want to. So I'll call it banner. And make the width 2560 and the height 1440 and then the resolution 72. And then press OK. So make sure to check out the description because I'll be leaving a link to a photo that will show you how to make the channel art. So I have it in my desktop. So I'll click on file and then place. So this is the photo. So after that, on your keyboard, click on Command R or Control R. So this thing will show up and then click on it and then drag it down to here until the line finishes. And then do the same thing for the bottom. And I will hide it. So after that, so after that click on the rectangle tool or press U in your keyboard and then go to fill and then change it to black. And then I'll merge them by clicking on command E or control E and then right click on them and then rasterize the layer. And make sure the rectangle is always at the top. So for that I will fill in the middle area also by black and then I'll drag it down here and again right click on and then rasterize the layer. So after that you'll have to add some background so you can add any background that you want to but I'll be adding FIFA 17 backgrounds. So go to your browser and then search for the background you, that you want and then click on it and then right click copy image and then go to Photoshop and then click on edit and then paste and then I will drag it to here. So when you're done, click on the eraser tool or press on E on the on your keyboard and then make sure to make the hardness 0%. So after that I will give it a nice look to it by deleting a little bit the end of the background. So after that I will choose all of the layers by holding on shift and then I will group them by clicking on command G or control G. And they're right now grouped and then click on pass through and then choose the last one and after that i will change the opacity to 50 percent and then press on enter so after that i'll be adding a line in the middle so go to go to here then drag it and then put it in the middle and then again i'll go to the rectangle shape and then go to fill and then i'll change the color to red and then I'll fill in here. And then I'll press on normal and then make it multiply. So after that, so after that, make a new layer. Then change the fill to black. And then fill the other side. And then I'll change the opacity to 70%. And then press on enter. So after that, right click on. So after that, I'll rasterize both of the rectangles by right clicking and then rasterize layer. So after that, so after that, make a new layer and then go to the brush tool or you can click on brush and then change the color to white and then press on OK and then go to the middle and then add the glow. So after that, change the opacity to 50%. And then make again a new layer and then at the bottom do make a little glow and then go to normal and then change it to overlay so after that choose the text tool 
which is in here or you can press on T on your keyboard and then I'll be choosing the font that is called Gotham Bold and then I'll add the text so I'll call it your text so for your I'll make it white and for text I'll make it red and then I'll put it in the middle and then I'll click on the move tool so after that right click on the text layer and then go to blending options so first of all go to gradient overlay and it will be black and white and then change the opacity to 20% and after that go to drop shadow and then change the angle to 30 and the distance 0 and the size 30 and then make the opacity 100% and when you're done click on ok so after that I will duplicate it by pressing on command J or control J then I'll put it and then I'll put it at the bottom of the text and then I'll use my arrow keys and press on the down arrow key to give it a little 3d look so yeah guys here's the end of the video don't forget to leave a like and comment and subscribe if you could hit this video 50 likes that would be amazing and again this video hits 80 likes I'll be leaving a link to it as a template in the description down below and yeah guys I will see you in my next video